Russian lawmakers are encouraging National Security Agency whistleblower Edward Snowden to accept asylum in Venezuela after an offer by Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro. Speaking to a military parade Friday, Maduro contrasted his asylum offer to Snowden with the U.S. refusal to deport former CIA operative Luis Posada Cariles, who is wanted for the bombing of a Cuban airliner that killed 73 people. ¿Quién es el terrorista? Who is the terrorist? A government like us who seeks to serve the young Snowden, a figure of humanitarian asylum from persecution by the American empire, or the United States government that protects with political asylum Luis Posada Carriles, a confessed convicted murderer and terrorist who is wanted by Venezuela for the bombing of the Cubana plane in 1976. Bolivia and Nicaragua have also expressed their willingness to grant Snowden asylum. The offers to Snowden came after a plane carrying Bolivian President Evo Morales was rerouted to Austria after France and Portugal barred it from their airspace over false suspicions that Snowden was on board. After hosting an emergency summit of Latin American leaders, Morales threatened to close the U.S. embassy in Bolivia. Cerrar la embajada de Estados Unidos en Bolivia. If it were necessary, I would close the U.S. Embassy in Bolivia. We are not in need of a U.S. Embassy in Bolivia. We do not need its pretext of cooperation or diplomatic relationship. They come to conspire against us from inside and out. In the latest of Snowden's disclosures, the journalist Glenn Greenwald revealed this weekend the NSA is systematically tapped into Brazil's telecommunication network and indiscriminately intercepted, collected and stored the email and telephone records of millions of Brazilians for years. The Brazilian government says it has deep concern over the report and has asked the U.S. Embassy for an explanation. We'll have more with Glenn Greenwald later in the broadcast.